Hello, my name is Tandy Banks. I'm an industry process consultant for Dassault Systems, and I'm here today to talk about collaborative operations. We're going to use 3D experience in order to be able to uh, a day in the life on the manufacturing floor like we are here today. So see my 3D lean board here, I'll get to that in just a moment. I want to start my day off looking at what's been going on within the organization. You know, these are things like our facility here. We've been spending quite a bit of time with that. John's been busy working on some CNC programming. He's got a lot of post-processing work. We've got set up for the specific machines. And so we want to be able to capture that digitally and be able to share that within our organization and maybe out external to our organization. But not only is this just information that's being captured in a feed, but we also have the ability to use the 6W tags within 3D Experience in order to know who's doing what, when, where, and be able to get more information and data related to that. And so as we work doing our normal activities, 3D Experience is at work in the background capturing that data and presenting us with information that we can utilize. You know, we've been using things like ideas and questions, but we also can organize these into wikis. So that way, if we're needing to get specific information related to a given area, we can drill down through in a more of an organized fashion, as opposed to always having to browse or search. Filters are easily taken on and off, so again, that way we can get to the information that we need in order to do our jobs effectively. Communities can be specific to a machine area or a cell, or they could be for the entire organization, or like many of our communities on SWIM, those are worldwide audiences where we can interact with anybody in every industry. A lot of times whenever we're facilitating meetings, we need to be able to share information. And 3D Lean is our tool that we use to uh, facilitate those meetings to be able to convey our information in a, in a very uh, effective and visual way, right? So let's look at, maybe we're starting our day off, we're having our shift meeting here on the shop floor. And we want to take a look at how are the machines running? Let's have a conversation about, we like to see green on these to let us know that those machines are running. So Metal Quest has their manufacturing execution system data being ported out so that, that way we can grab it and have it in interface right here within our 3D lean board to have that conversation. And we may want to engage in an interactive activity to decide it's time for spring cleaning over in our robot cell. And so we need to be able to determine who's going to uh, work in what areas. And so Kelly is going to work over here on this robot. And maybe we got John. John's gonna pick up. He's decided that he'll work on this one for us today. And so we can visually communicate whether we're up in the office, whether we're here on the shop floor, or whether I'm on vacation and I'm catching this from my phone. I've got that ability to work with any device, anywhere through 3D experience and have that digital connection to be able to interact and everybody is on the same page to know where we're interacting. So whether I'm working on a flat screen like I am here on, on the shop floor, whether I'm on that PC or whether I'm on the, the phone device. One of the things that we're showing over with our factory flow is we're trying to decide what is the steps in the process between one of the lathes, one of the robots, and one of the grinder machines. And so we can use our sticky notes and we can color code those so that way we know that the lathe, the robot, and the grinder machine, what they might want to do. And so this gives us a very fluid, ad hoc way to be able to decide what we're working in different areas. And so now that we're introducing a new lathe, we can use a stylus or use a keyboard in order to input that data. We can start a new swim lane here to start having the communication. And if we need to reorder, or if we need to simply start making some sketches in order to be able to communicate that information, we can pass the stylus and or have interactivity on the, the touch screen board utilizing these type of, of communication tools within 3D Lean. So you can see we've got sticky notes and we can use color coding for those. We have stickers where that way if we need to, to set up flow diagrams or designators or use something like value stream mapping uh, symbols. That way we can drag and drop those out. Also maybe just give a thumbs up to let us know that we're on the right track. Visual communication, digitally connected, 
throughout our organization. That's the intent of 3D Lean. Help us communicate that with our, uh, with our meetings. Problem logs and action logs, because any good meeting has at least one action that comes from that. And a lot of times when we get together, issues bubble up or problems. And so we have those two special lean jets that allow us to be able to uh, organize our boards and be able to communicate the meeting for whichever, whether it's a, a shift meeting, a safety meeting that I'm gonna get into in a moment, or maybe it's in the uh, office environment where we're doing uh, pseudo project management. We're trying to get something kicked off in ID8. So we have the ability to do sketches, 3D play, KPIs, PDF viewers, our team board where we organize who has access to these things, web pages, and then there are two logs that are available. And so simply dragging those off, organizing those in this manner, allow us to be able to uh, build the board and the communication styles the way that, that we need to. And so I've got a note here to remind me, I need to review issues. So using my dashboard within 3D Experience, I'm able to organize multiple areas of work and roles within one area. So I can simply switch to the issues, where we have issue management. I can see I've got a few issues that have already been created. We're doing things like what Brent's working on with the valve stem lathe and adding robots and trying to decide is it the right time to, to add additional capacity. So he's working on that. We see that we've got a coolant spill near DNM2 and that's got an urgent uh, task associated with that. So we're gonna tackle that here in just, just a moment. But I've got this other issue where we're, you know, again, talking about that. I have the ability to connect to anything within 3D experience, whether that's models, whether that's documentation, or whether it's data that we've embedded through forms or through interactivity. And so I've got that ability to attach to any of those. That's where the issue management right here on the shop floor makes a lot of sense. Because any one of us could bubble up an issue, whether it had to do something with our health, safety, and environment, whether it was product related, process related, or hey, I just need to remember, somebody needs to look into where we're gonna plan our next company picnic. We can use issues for anything from very low level, traceability, I need to make sure that somebody's looking at this all the way through very critical things where maybe we need to supply that traceability to our customers. Using issues through 3D experience as a part of our dashboard allows us to quickly interact with those and create those. And so about that coolant spill, Let's, uh, let's, let's do something with that. So I'm gonna flip back over to 3D Lean and I'm gonna say, as a part of this conversation, that this got brought up and um, we need to design a new cart to help with the spill. That's something that just as we were sitting here discussing, we, we figured out that that's an issue. And so I'm gonna put that as an action. An action is a special sticky note that allows us to have some accountability or we can do other things with that. So I'm going to assign myself to that and just by dragging and dropping my avatar over on top of the sticky note, it's now given me the ability to, to you know, dig in a little bit deeper. Maybe I need to put some context by grabbing a, a picture and adding that to it, adding additional sketch information related to that. But just the description alone, since I signed it to myself, I, I'm good with that and uh, I'm ready to go on to the next step. So what I can do with that is I can create a task. So from right from within 3D Lean, I can decide an actionable item that I can follow up and say, I need to work on this one, due date of the 16th. I can send that over to an, a task, and then again, using my dashboard, I've got the task capabilities in order to keep track of that. So if I were doing something like an update, dragging and dropping that over lets my manager and anybody else in the organization know that I've got that task, I'm working on it, where it's at in the process, and whenever I finish that task, the ability to mark that as completed. So quickly and easily, while I'm here on the shop floor, being able to move along tasks while we're having the meeting. So we've talked about shift uh, meetings where we're having these conversations, bubbling up problems and actions, dealing with those, maybe do a little ideation or get some ideas from the group. But one of the really important things, especially for our manufacturing customers, is health and safety. And so this allows, by having a digital board, we're allowing somebody maybe in an office environment, uh, professional responsible for the health and safety and environment program within an organization to pre-plan the activities. And so me as a shop 
supervisor. I'll put that hat on for a moment. I'm coming down and conducting this as part of our, our conversation. I can set up a, a meeting that I want to move forward with. So enacting the meeting tool, I can specify specific areas that I want to cover in order, and then I can set a timeline, hit the play button, and it's going to allow me to cycle through those, keeping me on track time-wise and on the communication of the specific things that, that we need to work with. Great job, team. Haven't had any incidents in many, many days. It's becoming a storm season in the heartland, and so an evacuation plan or a safety plan is important to review with your team. And so we can see here from the layout here at Metal Quest, they've got a, a good storm shelter location. Everybody knows where we happen to be positioned at. We know where we can go in order, uh, if there happens to be a storm, if there happens to be a fire, and then the exits and where we need to meet if we have to evacuate the building. So we can keep uh, visitors as well as employees informed of how we might want to interact. So when we're ready to conclude the meeting, we can hit the stop button and it puts us back into our board environment so that way we can proceed forward. But as you can see, visually communicating allows us to create meaningful meetings. Right? So that way we get something out of it. We don't have asking ourselves, why are we here? It's pretty, uh, pretty evident to see. Now, if during our meeting time, we got into something that needed a little bit more structure, we can simply utilize a sketch lean jet And then we can dig into our template library and we can choose from a lot of our pre-populated templates. So that way if we needed to do something related to the health and safety cross, maybe we're dealing with a delivery or cost or quality. Maybe we need to do an Ishikawa, do a problem solving diagram. We've got all of these from a lean perspective and that's part of where 3D Lean gets its name is that in its roots, it's trying to help us employ good lean principles not only in the shop floor, but digitally connected to anybody within our organization. And so we can use some of those lean principles in order to, to work around those problems. Particular facility layout here at Metal Quest and a few of the zones and the areas that we're covering as part of this series. And so collaborative operations that we're working on here, some of the fantastic stuff that we're seeing with factory flow, robot programming, and CNC. Interactive content, things like being able to get a preview and explain to our team that this is how the, the simulation of the CNC program that we're running and what that should be looking like. So that way, if you get between shift changes, we know what to expect. So it's not just static, but we have the dynamic content that we create together as well as video and, and other information. The great 3D scan that we were able to capture here utilizing uh, our factory flow, reimagining the space that we're going through, and being able to share this with any stakeholder. So as you guys could imagine, using 3D Lean within 3D Experience to share this information, not only within this team here, but also with our executives, with our shareholders, and, and all those that are interested. So hopefully you've been able to see how the dashboard within 3D Experience gives us the platform to be able to put the roles and apps in action and allow us to be able to do our job effectively, whether we're right here on the shop floor gathered around a touch screen or whether we're on the beach just trying to check in with our team. Yeah, my name is Tandy Banks. Thank you for looking at 3D Lane.